Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. In today's video, we are going to be making a mousetrap gun. Now in this video, this is the supplies you will need. You will of course need a old wooden mousetrap like the one seen here. A tube of a pen, like just the middle section of it. Make sure it's hollow, you can see all the way through. An alligator clip, or binder clip, whatever you call it. An elastic, some string, tape, scissors, and the ammo of choice is these 0.2 gram, doesn't really matter though, and they have to be 6 millimeter BBs, right there. Let's get started. First step is to modify your mousetrap. As you can see here, I have already done so. All you need to do is use your scissors, just like this, make sure they're nice and sharp, and cut out a notch. And the goal here is dependent on the outside of your tube, your pen diameter. And what you want is for it to be able to sit in there, and then when the mouse trap is lined up or in the down position, it is placed directly in the middle, mine slightly below but not bad, of the tube. Now that the mouse trap has been done modified, we can make the barrel. To do that, open up your alligator clip so it looks just like this, and then in the top one, which is the one at the back, Take your tube, do your best to squish it through the little eyelet of the alligator clip. It is somewhat tough depending on the size, but it will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you guys. So that's what you're going to want it to look like. And then the next step is to take those two pieces we just made and combine them together. Place the short half, the back half of the pen barrel like that. And then when your alligator clip is flush against the wooden mouse trap, you want the tube to be sticking out maybe about a millimeter or two, no more than about an eighth of an inch. And again, ensure that the metal portion comes down directly on the center of the barrel. To secure this in place, we're going to use some tape and elastic on this metal portion of the alligator clip. There's the alligator clip and pen secured nice and tight. It does flux a little bit, but as long as the tube doesn't move when you push on it like this, you're fine. So now to make the trigger assembly, um, what you're going to do is use the other side of the alligator clip. As you can see, it fits nicely just like this. And if you can imagine loading the mouse trap now, it would look something like this. This will go over top and stay like that. I'm going to keep my finger here so I don't snap myself again. But basically, to fire this specific mouse trap, all I have to do is design something that taps on this. And as you can see, these two are in parallel. So that's where the string comes in. I'm going to go ahead and use the string to make a loop. It's kind of hard to show you while holding the mouse trap. But I'm going to make a loop that goes from the brass piece on the mouse trap around this side here. I'll let down the mouse trap real quick. So the loop is going to go from the mouse trap underneath the snapping bar and then right up here, up at the very top, and then back around and tie the knot so that when you push on the alligator clip, as you can see it pulls the string. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so as you can see there's the final trigger assembly. I made the string just long enough so that when it's loaded, it's taut and it goes, as you can see, around one of the loops of the alligator clip all the way around to the trigger of the mouse trap and loops back around to the trigger again. So when the trigger is pulled, it'll pull and set off the mouse trap, which will hopefully fire our BB in the barrel. Let's get to some shooting tests. Alright, so time for the shooting test. So the best idea, I just snapped my finger while trying to load it. So the best idea is to put the BB in first. As you can see, you leave it sticking out just a little bit. To show you guys why not to do that, I'll include that bonus clip at the end of the video. So please stay tuned for that if you want to see me hurt myself trying to load this thing. And then of course, if you've ever loaded a mouse trap before, it's kind of tough. Because they're so sensitive to get the spring set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back when it's done. Alright, so there you can see the mouse trap is loaded. Ammo is in the barrel. We're going to go ahead with the shooting test. 
If the trigger doesn't work, you can always just pull the string, which is what I'm probably going to try right now. We'll see. But we're going to be shooting at that couch right over there. So there you go. Um, we'll try one more shooting test. Alright, so always be sure you're pointing at what you want to shoot at even before you intend to fire because as you can see in that last clip it fired before I was ready. So here we go, hopefully we can do a little more plan this time. Um, but nonetheless, here we go. Firing in 3, 2, 1. So I think it's safe to say it's pretty darn powerful. It's hard to even see, but there's the BB right there. I assume it ricocheted off the couch and hit there. But these things are very powerful, and as you can imagine, it springs really quickly and stops, which is a very high acceleration because it's such a short distance, which, uh, which is why it propels it so quickly. But anyway, there's a really simple mouse chop gun you can make. Just please be very careful when shooting. Obviously, don't hold right there. My thumb is still red. I'll show you guys that clip right now, but as always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy this clip of what not to do. Alright, so time for the shooting test. Again, our ammo for choice today are these little 6mm BBs. So to load the gun, it's kind of crude, but basically just 